And off, racing over the seven furlong trip for the second division of the At The Races App Form Study Handicap, dropping in at the back, locked down last in the light blue and black spots. Good speed shown on the right by foreseeable future. Got the first time visor on today, nose banded runner and clear by some three or four lengths from Saison Door. And then close up is Truth in Jester, red and white. And then the colour change, Rum Runner now in green, red and white. Harry Loves in dark blue and yellow, dark blue jacket with a grey trim. That is Dilly Ding, Dilly Dong towards the left. Tracking the leader over on the far side, the white face Tamaska, followed by the nose banded runner in the white and green Royal Prospect. Still held up right out the back is Lockdown Lass. As foreseeable future leads them now towards the halfway point. Foreseeable future by three or four lengths from Saison Door, who heads the main group. Towards the left is Truth in Jest. Just behind them, Run Runner. Tamaska next. Pushed along Vin De Bala in the red sleeves, trying to make some progress. Just behind Harry Love. Also off the bridle is Royal Prospect. But to keeping up the gallop at this stage as they come inside the two, it's Foreseeable Future. Foreseeable Future over towards the far side. Saison Door, Run Runner. And towards the left, Truth in Jest trying to stay on with Tamaska. But they still haven't got to this leader. Foreseeable Future. A couple of lengths clear inside the final furlong keeping on well truth in jest the near side also staying on well is rum runner but it's foreseeable future with the lead over on the far side keeping on strongly rum runner and truth in jest but it's an all the way success in the first time visor for foreseeable future 20 to 1 he's finished in second and truth in jest back in third at 18 to 1 not easy to find either of those horses but step aside the 7-2 to two winner in the first race. Knocked it out of the park, you and Leona, here with a 10-1 to one and a 20-1 to runner-up, Jamie. Not uh, bad at all. Leona identified that a big part of the play with Foreseeable Future was the pace angle and the fact that he looked to be the lone pace in the race. And really well done to, of course, Leona, but also to Jimmy Sullivan because he had to have the confidence in himself and the horse to get things right he raced away from the crowd for the vast majority of that race and has timed things to perfection rum runner has run really well in his reappearance at 20 truth in jest that's a big step forward from him compared to his reappearance and he'll be improving in that classic nigel tinkler way but for evil future the long pace hangs on yeah, really well timed ride, getting the pace and the fraction spot on. James Sullivan and Ruth Carr win at 10 to 1. Rum runner in that colour change, the white cap with the green and red uh, uh, striped sleeves. That one finishing second at 20 to 1, taking a big step forward on seasonal return to action. Truth in Jest was 18 to 1, but a really, really good performance here from the front to win the second division of that seven furlong handicap. We'll really look forward to the reaction from the connections there at Doncaster. But first, we will be heading off to Compiègne because our final race that we're gonna bring you as part of this show will be the Prix de Léonois for the three-year-old fillies. My 14 to one winning that this morning, well, Jamie. Well, well, I was well, shouting well. you home. Uh, I was just, I had a quick brief word with Ruth then after this horse went over the line and she said what a peach you gave him because she said that she thinks I, I, if all the horses would have come to him, he's one of them, he'd have perhaps curled up a little bit. Yeah, he has done that in the past. He has when, when you know, when you're going well, but soon they get by him and then he kind of curls up. But uh, no, the wind was behind us and, you know, set fairly decent fractions and I thought, well, at least he'll, he'll be there as long as he can be. And um, no, he's done it very well, to be fair. You'd done your homework like me. You knew you were perhaps the only pace in the race and it, you went over that far further side. Again, did you do that by design so he was on yeah, his own? Yeah, I was kind of drawn there and I wasn't really bothered about the other horses. So I was kind of thinking, well, if he's on his own, he's better chance of, of keeping going. So, um, no, and I got in a nice look, nice rhythm up the straight, and uh, he's, uh, he's took out well. Letters from pillar to post. Yeah, brilliant. Well done. Cheers. Thank Thanks you. Thanks very Cheers. much, Charles and Jim.